What's good, Commanders fans? Um, this this is always good to be Dallas. I'll say that, man. Always good to be Dallas. That's why there's a lot of Dallas fans at the game, and you know what? Dallas fans left early. They left real early tonight. They left real early. That was hilarious. But Dak looked really bad. He looked really bad. Like, and I said one of my keys to to evaluation, not even to victory, because I didn't have us winning. I'll be honest. You know, um, we we beat them with their starters. Michael Parsons played the majority of the game. Trayvon Diggs played more, majority of the game. Um, Demarcus Lawrence, Donovan Wilson. Um, a lot of their starters played the majority of this game, man. They didn't put Cooper Rush in there until, until they knew this. This is how bad Dak was. Dak threw the ball to Kendall Fuller, and he dropped the easy interception. Then Dak threw the same exact pass. It was like the same exact play, the same exact pass, pick six to Kendall Fuller. Dak was awful, man. Like The Cowboys were in playoff form. This is how you know it's playoff time. This is no. This is how you know it's January when the Cowboys start playing like that. They were in full playoff mode. Playoff mode activated from the jump, from the punter. Uh, Muff, the punter couldn't catch the football, and then he punted it for, like, what, 10 yards or something like that. Then uh, Turpin muffs the punt. So they were giving us some gifts for sure. They definitely gave us some gifts, but we did take advantage of it. And we, we threw some away because Joey Sly, my gosh, he, 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 I don't know if we got to bring. I don't know if we're bringing him back next year. I, I wouldn't bring him back. I'm sorry. Too many missed extra points. Too many layups missed. 31 yard uh, kicks missed. Uh, uh, extra points missed against the Giants too. That killed us. That hurt us in the long run. Where we would even if we would have scored when they had that pass interference, uh, that they didn't call against the Giants, we would have had to go for two because uh, Joey Sly missed extra point. Some of it was because of Rivera going for for two as well. But who who cares about that game? Sam Howe. Sam I am man of the hour. He looked good. I love the pass to McLaurin. I loved a couple of passes to Jahan Dotson. Where this is where Sam Howell is really good at. And I said this before the game. I said this in my previous video too. He's really good at hitting guys in stride. He's really good at hitting guys where they have yak. Where I said in the preseason, Alex Erickson, Dax Mill, a lot of those guys got yak because Sam just has a knack of hitting guys in stride. You know, I, I just didn't see a lot of that with Carson. I didn't see any of that with Carson. I didn't, and I like Heineke a lot. He was emotional when he was leaving the field. Shout out to Taylor Heineke. I thought he had a, did an admirable job as a backup this year and last year. But I just didn't see guys getting hit in stride with those quarterbacks. I just didn't. Terry McLaurin cooking number 37. Terry McLaurin was hitting stride, running down. And also, uh, Sam did a good job of getting the pass interference on number 37 as well. Um, Terry was just cooking number 37 the whole game. I don't even know the guy's name for the Cowboys, but he, he was cooking that guy. He was torching that guy. Burnt toast uh, all game. Uh, Terry dropped the pass. Jahan dropped the pass too. They had, we actually had a couple drops for Sam. Um, and Jahan dropped a pass where that was that could have been like a 30 yard catch, but Jahan dropped it. Terry McLaurin dropped in the first quarter, had an easy catch, but dropped it. Um, a lot of the guys they they didn't help Sam out. They they did help Sam out, but at the same time, there were some yards left on the field for sure. For sure. Um, now Sam didn't target Curtis Samuel, which is you know I'm not mad at that at all. Uh, but looking at Carson, like I said, Carson didn't, he he just never got a connection with Terry. It's good to see that Sam has a connection with Terry McLaurin. He has a good connection with Jahan Dotson. So looking into the future, I'm a, after, like I said, this game would not sway me either or. If Sam went out there and threw three picks, I wouldn't be like, oh, Sam's a bust. But if Sam went out there and had three touchdowns today, I said I wouldn't overreact either. But I'm 110% fine with Sam I am being the starter next year. I don't want to trade for Jimmy G. I don't want to trade for Derek Carr. Uh, I mean, I don't want to sign Jimmy G in free agency. I don't want to trade for Derek Carr. Uh, if Tannehill's let go, I don't want to go for Tannehill or whatever. I don't want to trade for Tannehill. I don't want to go for any journeyman quarterback. I'm tired of that. I'm done with that route. Geno Smith, if he's a free agent, uh, if he becomes a free agent, I don't want to go after Geno Smith. I just want to draft a quarterback or go with Sam Howell or go with Sam and still draft a quarterback and just let them compete. I'm 110% I'm fine with that. But whatever we do, I want Sam to be in that conversation to be the starter. I don't want it to be an outside guy who is a journeyman quarterback like a Carson Wentz traded three times or on his third team in three years. Case Keenum being traded for a six-round, seven-round pick. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick on his 10th team. I'm done with that. We've seen enough. We've done We've done enough of that. It's time to see what we got in some of these young guys. Look at the rest of the NFC East. They drafted all the quarterbacks. Daniel Jones drafted. Jalen Hurts, MVP candidate, drafted. Dak Prescott, even though he's playing like trash right now, drafted. And he's been to the playoff multiple times. It's time for the commanders to do the same thing and draft their quarterback instead of trying to microwave their quarterback. And it's so funny. Logan Paulson was like, oh, uh, Sam's not ready. This whole year we're here. Sam's not ready. Sam looked darn good today, man. And I love, <coughs> I love the mobility, man. 
I think, you know, a lot of people on social media, of course, were saying Scott Turner didn't help him out, which I agree with. Scott Turner was pretty darn bad. It was a reverse play to Curtis Samuel that went backwards for like five yards that killed a drive, and Scott Turner does that every single game. Um, you know, didn't throw. he didn't call a lot of passing plays for Sam, which I kind of get because for some reason this coaching staff just doesn't believe in Sam. But Sam's a darn good player, man. And he He's a gamer, man. He's got the moxie to him. He's tough. He has mobility. He can run. Um, and I thought they should have even done some more design runs with Sam Howell, man. He looked good. The running touchdown he had, that was beautiful, man. He's a bowling ball, man. He's hard to tackle, man. He's tough to bring down. He's tough to bring down, seriously. Um, you can see that in North Carolina. He was just, you know, bowling and just bumping off guys and just, you know, holding the ball up high and just, you know, just bouncing off guys. Sam Howell, he's a tough He's a tough guy, man. He's a tough nose. Tough guy, man. I, I like Sam a lot, man. I I, lo I like Sam a lot. I'm not going to say I love Sam just yet, but I like Sam Howell a lot. I want to see more, man. I really do. I want to see more. Jared Patterson, great game today, man. Moving the pile, moving the sticks, just being that small five foot seven guy, just ducking his head, getting under, moving the piles, you know, just like Brian Robinson does. 17 carries for 78 yards, man. He had a great day today, man. He had a beautiful day. Um, like I said, this was against Dallas' starters too, man. And John Williams too. I thought he had a couple good runs. Solid game all around, man. Kalik Hudson was flying around today. I liked his energy. I like Montez Sweat's energy today. I like Chase Young's energy in the first half. F.A. Obata was getting back there. Deron Payne was running around. Danny Johnson deflections. Kendall Fuller pick six. Uh, John Ridgeway, he got hurt, but he was flying around. <coughs> Derek Forrest, we had a lot of pass breakups. Dallas was, what, 0 for 10 on third downs or something crazy like that? Um, and by the way, Washington, we're, we finished, we're number one in, on third down defense. We're number one on third down defense, if you didn't know that. Uh, Cowboys were four for 18 on third down. Dak was so bad, man. It was really bad. Like, there was one time where Zeke was running, and Zeke didn't even turn his head around, and Dak just threw the ball right at Zeke's back. That, that, that's, that's how bad Dak was today. Like, he was really bad. He was awful today. He was really bad. And, like, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna, play the Bucs, right? They're going to they, they're gonna, they're gonna lose to the, they're gonna lose to the Bucs, for sure. They're going to lose to the Bucs. That's a fact. Uh, we were three for 14 on third downs, which is bad. Um, you know, rookie quarterback, Scott Turner, didn't do him any favors either. Um, let's see here. Rushing, passing 158 yards, rushing 151. We held him to 64. <clears throat> we keep, we kept Zeke in check too. Percy Butler was firing. He was hitting today too. A lot of the young guys were flying around and hitting, hitting as well. Uh, we held Zeke to what? Zeke had, uh, 10 yards on the ground. Tony Pollard, 19 yards on the ground. The defense played their best game of the season. They really did. They played their best game of the season. It, it's just unfortunate that, we just laid an egg against the Browns, and we come out and play our hearts out like this in a meaningless game. I get it's, a, it's still somewhat of a rivalry, a little bit. It's like 1% still a rivalry. Um, but it, it, it's just painful to see that we laid an egg to make it to the playoffs, and then we come out this week firing and playing all cylinders. It, it's just really ridiculous. It really is. Um, let me look at my notes here real quick. Um, the botch punt. Talked about that. Terry McLaurin with a beautiful catch. Uh, F.A. Abada, um, Terry Miller with the touchdown catch. That was a beautiful pass by Sam as well. Joey Sly missed the field goal. Um, a lot of screen passes and reverses by Scott Turner to start off. It was just a vanilla offense. He he, he had a uh, reverse to Marty Rogers that went, went nowhere. Um, and then the reverse with Curtis Samuel that went nowhere. Um, Sam Howell had a nice couple of nice runs. Talked about that. Uh, the pass for the interception that was in triple coverage. Um, I think that was on second down, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe we could have ran the ball a little bit more. Um, but that was a bad pass by Sam. Joy Sly missed the extra point. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Johan Dodds had a nice catch and run. Talked about that. Um, Dallas had a touchdown before that, before halftime, but their kicker missed the extra point. Uh, third and one, we didn't get it. Fourth and one, we had a huge stop. It was a, um, quarterback sneak with Dak Prescott. That was a good stop by the defense on fourth and one. That was a huge stop. Uh, Dax Miller actually made a couple people miss on his punt returns. He juked somebody, make somebody, made somebody fall, slip and slide. Um, Danny Johnson with a big pass breakup on third down. They missed the roughing the punter on Tress Way. One of the one of their defenders hit Tress Way. They did not throw the flag. Um, Sam Howell had a nice pass to Jahan Dodson. Where Sam started getting, he started getting the rhythm. He was cooking. He started to cook. Um, Jerry Patterson moving the pile in the red zone. Sam Howell with a nice run for a touchdown. Sam Howell to Terry McLaurin with a beautiful pass. Uh, for, it was like fifty yards or something like that. Um, we were three and out. John Williams was wide open on the left side. The commentator talked about that. Sam Howell missed him. He's got to, you know, be aware and survey the field. Uh, he said, you know, the commentator was like, the Cowboys defenders got mixed up and got confused and they did. They had miscommunication. 
I thought Sam dropped the ball on that one. Uh, red zone, we didn't let Sam throw on third and four. We were up 23 to six. And I guess I understand Scott being conservative. But hey, um, third and four, man, I, I would have thrown the ball and tried to get a touchdown. You got Terry McLaurin out there. You got Jahan out there who's got, what, six or seven touchdowns on a year. You got Curtis. You got uh, Logan Thomas, Cole Turner, John Bates. Um, you got some guys that can catch the ball in the red zone for touchdowns. So, I mean, they took their foot off the gas like we always do. It is what it is, though. Um, Khalid Hudson looked good, man. I want to see more of him next year. He did. He looked good. He was flying around. Um, Percy Butler, like I said, too. I thought he was flying around, too. The whole defense, man, they, 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 they did their thing. Game ball. Sam Howell gets a game ball. Terry gets a game ball. Jahan gets a game ball. Kendall Fuller gets a game ball. Um, I'll probably do studs and does tomorrow, so I won't do too many uh, game balls right now. But um, I'm going to say solid win, man. Solid win. Solid win. You know, it's always good to be the Cowboys. And now, you know, Dak is 9-2 instead of being 9-1. and one. So um, <clears throat> it's funny just for bragging rights. It's funny for just for bragging right Now, the draft, I think we're the 16th uh, worst team in the NFL or 16th best team. So instead of getting 10, we'll get 16. It was going to be hard for us to get the 10th pick of the draft anyway. But we're in limbo. We're in kind of in purgatory with the draft. We're not drafting high enough to get another quarterback. And we're not bad enough. To, we're not bad enough to get another quarterback. We're just in the middle of the pack. And we weren't good enough to make the playoffs. So we're just in limbo and purgatory right now. But I do want to see if Scott Turner is fired this week. There was a report from Sam Fortier saying that players were not happy with uh, Scott Turner's play calling. Um, a lot of people are saying that Logan Thomas was a guy that spoke out about it. So I don't know if that's 100% true or not. I know his wife said something on social media. Logan Thomas's wife said something on social media. So where there's smoke, there's fire. And Logan Thomas is one of the captains and one of the leaders of this team. So, hey, we all see it. We, we darn well know the players know it for sure. And the players are starting to chirp now. So we'll see if Scott Turner's back. Because I'm tired of seeing some of the terrible reverses when getting too cute. Uh, fourth and ones were always moving backwards on screen passes. That toss against the uh, Browns was just awful. That was one of the worst fourth and one plays I've seen in my life from Scott Turner or, or, or just a play calling uh, from anybody. But I don't want to take this away. Sam Howell had a good game, man, and I want to see more. I think Ron Rivera, you know, he was very, um, you know, he's trying to, you know, be uh, uh, cordial or professional and not say somebody asked him if, you know, Sam Howell's quarterback one or quarterback two next year. He just said he's going to be QB for now. And he's not going to reveal his hand just yet. But I really hope. I know the new owner, he's not going to fire Ron Rivera, but I just want him to make the right decision. Just let Sam play. I would just let Sam cook, let Sam play. Do not trade for a journeyman quarterback. Do not trade for Derek Carr. Don't sign Jimmy G. None of that. Just go in there with Sam Howell, see what you got. You got to see what the young guy has, okay? Um, yeah, last game of the season, I will be making a video tomorrow for sure. Thank you guys for rocking with me during the season for sure. Um, shout out to you guys. 8-1, eight, eight Ron Rivera actually won more than seven games. It feels weird. He won more than seven games. He actually won more than seven games for the first time in his career as a Washington head coach. So, all right, you guys. Thank you guys for rocking me with me this year. Hell's Commanders. Peace. Dallas sucks. <laughs>